What about, um, I've been reading a lot about that plastic leeches and can put, um, you know, kind of like kind of put poisons into the waters at dioxins. I'm not sure what exactly, why we're not supposed to use plastics anymore. That's a good question. There's a lot of confusion out there right now with plastic bottles. Um, you'll hear a lot about um, BPA and orthothalates, and that's the big thing you hear about that's dangerous in plastics. Um, that's, that's, that's what leaches into it? Correct. Um, with the Enso bottle, it's made with number one PET. P, number one PET does not contain any of those substances. So you can drink your bottled water and you can feel happy about it. So what, what inspired you and motivated you to, to come up with this wonderful, amazing, cutting edge new idea? Um, well, you know, it all started with everyone's heard all the pre press about landfills and the toxins in plastic. And, and it, it's really hard for a company that's environmentally conscious to package their products. And Enso Bottles was founded with the idea that plastic is necessary in our life and plastic has really improved our lives, but we need to improve plastic along with that. So our, our goal is to create a fully sustainable plastic solution that's made from a non-food source that's also biodegradable, fully recyclable, um, and in addition to that, we're working with the landfills to create bioreactors to capture the methane produced when something's breaking down in a landfill, and that's a clean energy source. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit about, um, I heard you talking to somebody about different types of landfills and the problems with them? Yeah, there's really two types of landfills. There's bioreactor landfills, and then there is dry tomb landfills. A dry tomb landfill is what you traditionally will see, where they bury everything, they compact it down, and they try to keep out as much oxygen and as much moisture as possible. And then they bury it and they kind of pretend like it doesn't exist anymore. Um, with a bioreactor landfill, it's built with the intention to make things break down. Um, when things break down in a landfill, they do produce methane. And with a bioreactor, they capture that methane and again use it as a clean energy source. Either way, you're going to produce methane, but with a bioreactor, you're facilitating that breakdown so it's happening a lot faster. And the actual use of a landfill can go from, you know, anywhere from a, a normal 50 year landfill may be able to be used for hundreds of years. And this, the Enso bottle, will break down in either, either type of landfill? Absolutely. Yeah. It'll break down much faster in a bioreactor, but it will break down in either one. Um, so I have another question, and that is we've all heard about Trash Island, and I just wonder um, what this bottle does when it goes floating down the ocean. Um, Enso bottles, again, break down through microbial activity, which is the natural process for um, biodegradation. Um, so it's anticipated that in any bio, um, biologically active environment, they will break down. So don't throw your bottles in the ocean. But um, if somebody happens to, um, they will break down.